The best-selling console on the market right now is the PlayStation 4, but given the technical advances of gaming consoles over the last few years, the PS4 is likely capable of way more than you actually know. What's up, guys? Jimmy here. Welcome to Chaos Top 10s, and today we are going to be looking at 10 PlayStation 4 hacks. Now, not negative hacks, not a way to hack somebody's PlayStation, but more like a gamer hack or a life hack of things maybe you didn't know that your console can actually do. We are running a $200 Amazon gift card giveaway the entire month. All you have to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment why you want to win it with your Twitter handle attached. I will announce the winner at the end of the month on Twitter. Be sure to take advantage of the giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on. That is kind of the two-step formula, if you will, to be able to make sure you get all the videos in your sub box. And now, let's go over 10 PS4 hacks that maybe you did or maybe you didn't know. You can never go wrong with an extra layer of security on anything that you own electronic-wise. And we're going to say, at number 10, setting up a passcode. And you don't want people using your console when you're not home. It's like your computer, you have all your stuff saved on there, you don't want somebody going in and messing with it, and you can actually prevent this and make sure that no one plays unless you are there. You can find the options for this in the parental control section of the settings on your PlayStation 4. You can make it so only you can access your account and even make it so only you can access certain games. That's right, you can actually make it where if they got in, they can't play the games that you don't want to. If you live with younger siblings or anything like that, you don't want them playing those M-rated games, you can take care of that. It's all under parental controls. I actually have a password set up on mine. I have to put it in every time I log into the PlayStation 4, and I highly recommend it. At number nine, did you know that you can actually use your phone, your smartphone, as a remote? By downloading the PlayStation app on your phone, there's actually a ton of cool stuff you can do with it. Aside from buying and downloading games without having to turn on your console, you can actually sync your app with your system to use your phone as your remote. This will allow you to do things like send messages, type sentences from your phone on a full keyboard as opposed to slowly typing one letter at a time with your DualShock 4 controller. If you are someone who sends a lot of text on the PS4, talks a lot, whatever, you should probably look into the PlayStation app for your phone as it would save you a ton of time, make texting easier, messaging easier, all kinds of stuff. So give it a try and let me know what you think. This next one's not exactly like a, a hack, it's some advice. And number eight, get a bigger hard drive. Many of us are familiar with the external hard drives that many consoles offer for extra space. But in addition to that, I'm sure many of you are also aware of how huge digital games are now. They are big, often taking 10 times as much space as they did on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. And if you want to get a new hard drive for your PS4, you can actually just replace the one that's already inside of it. Sony is actually totally in favor of users replacing the PS4 hard drive and even has detailed instructions online how to safely and efficiently replace your hard drive. So if you've been running out of disk space recently, I recommend you check those out and see what you can do because your average game is like 40 to 80 gig right now. And if you don't have a very big PlayStation 4 hard drive, you're going to you're going to find yourself literally only be able to store one or two games on your console. Have you ever wished you could use your TV remote control as your PlayStation remote? Maybe not. That's kind of odd, but hey, you can. And number seven, syncing your console with your TV. You can actually do this. If you go into your settings, you can actually sync your console with your TV, assuming your TV is somewhat new. By going into the system settings and enabling the HDMI device link option, you can use your TV's remote to scroll through your PlayStation 4 apps, and you can even use it to turn it off and on. Just be aware that if you hit the power button and turn the TV off, the PS4 will go into standby mode. It won't, it won't turn completely off. So you have to understand, you didn't power it all the way down with your TV remote. But it's not a big deal. It is pretty cool, though, that the PlayStation 4 has all these options to use external devices like your phone and your TV remote to actually work with the system. I didn't know this one. And number six, you could actually dim the light on your controller. The DualShock 4 has become known for the big blue light on its front side, but 
you can actually, you can dim this thing. Pretty cool. It looks cool, but it eats up your battery pretty quickly in your remote. And if you want your controller to last longer, you can go into your settings and dim the light on your actual controllers. This will keep them running longer without having to fully sacrifice that nice blue glow. And speaking of controller power, at number five, charging your controller with a phone cable. This one, this one is imperative. You should know this one. A lot of people don't realize that you don't need the official Sony cable to charge your controller. Now, Sony would probably like you to believe you do so that you buy their products, but you don't. In fact, almost all micro USB cables work as chargers. And unless you have an iPhone, you're probably aware that your phone charger is a micro USB. Use your phone charger or any other micro USB cable to charge your controller. And if you're an iPhone user, don't worry. Just keep in mind next time you have to buy a PS4 charger that you can save money just getting a generic micro USB cable as opposed to the official Sony license one, which usually with that license officiality, if you will, they're gonna charge you extra for just that. When in reality, the cords are all the same, they all function the same, and you could get away using a much, much cheaper one. At number four, PlayStation Live. Streaming has become a huge part of the gaming world over the last few years, huge. It's getting bigger by the day. The PlayStation 4 is a pretty cool feature that allows you to see pretty much every stream you could across all platforms. A lot of people don't even watch TV on their TV anymore. There were live streams on their computer. They watch this stuff on their consoles. It's titled Live from PlayStation, and this app allows you to browse through streams from YouTube Gaming, from Twitch, Ustream, all in one place. Rather than having to browse through all the apps individually, you can go find your favorite stream right there on PlayStation Live, which is pretty cool. And that's the way entertainment is going, is live streaming. Many people like to listen to music while they're gaming, and you can play music while you're gaming on your PlayStation 4. It has a feature that's specifically tailored for this. By installing Spotify to your console or just by downloading some MP3s, you can tinker around with your audio settings to make it so you can play that music while you're playing a game and you're not going to be sacrificing the game's audio. It's not gonna mix the two together. You can use both. The PS4's audio mixer is pretty detailed and nine times out of 10, you can find that perfect mix that allows you to hear the music just as much as you need to hear the game. Plus, if you have the added luxury of getting your music playing through your headphones or through your TV speakers rather than your phone, like I know many of us do when we're actually gaming. So not a big deal, but I know a lot of people like to listen to music while they game and the PlayStation 4 tailors right to you. Many people forget that the PlayStation 4 actually has a pretty lengthy list of voice commands available to the user and that these can be accessed by any microphone. Voice commands through your headset. If you turn on voice commands in your settings, a microphone plugged into your controller can be used to activate them. Your voice control settings also have a complete list of everything you can do with them, so be sure to look these over and take full advantage. It can be a stand-up mic, desk mic, it could be the mic on your headset. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people realize Xbox One has voice control, but PlayStation 4 does as well. Okay, the number one tip for you guys today, PlayStation 4 hack, whatever you wanna call it, is share play. This is a super cool feature for those of you who like playing with your friends, but either you don't want to, you don't have a second controller or you want to play a game that doesn't have split screen. Share play is a feature on the PS4 that allows the host to share the game with another player without them actually owning the game, which is really, really cool. It even allows you to shift control of single player games from one to another. Like if you're playing through a tough part of Bloodborne, you can shift control over to your buddy's screen and they can do it for you and get you through that level. Just as if you guys were playing together at your house and they handed you the controller. SharePlay has a lot of awesome features and if you're someone who likes to play PS4 with your buddies, you should definitely mess around with it and see what all you can use it for. This isn't something that people talk about. They don't even really advertise it that much, but this is actually a big deal, not just for sharing and having somebody come in and help you with the game, but the fact that you can go let your friends play a game that maybe they couldn't afford or they couldn't get at the moment. They could actually get on and play with you even though they never officially bought the game. And there you have it, my friends. Those are 10 PS4 tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call them. Maybe make your 
PlayStation 4 experience a little better. All of these things are in there. Some of them are just hidden. They don't really talk about them that much, all these functions. The PlayStation 4 does a lot, and it's not advertised all the stuff that it actually does, but once you dive in, there are a lot of cool little features on the console. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully it helped. Drop a like on the video. There is a playlist below if you guys want to check out all the other gaming top tens. We put up a brand new one every single night at 8 o'clock. Thank you for all the love on the videos as always, and I'll see you tomorrow night for a brand new one.